What's up guys, welcome back to another episode. So this week in America, it has been Thanksgiving or practice Christmas, as I like to call it. Obviously we don't do it in the UK, but over the last six years that I've lived here in the US, I have come to really enjoy Thanksgiving. And I do think it's important every now and again, just to stop and take note of what it is that you are thankful for in life. So in this last week, I've been hanging out with my friends, just kind of chilling, taking it easy, taking a bit of downtime. So on Wednesday, which is the night before Thanksgiving, so practice Christmas Eve, I guess. I went out with boat friend Max and we did a sunset session on his boat, couple of beers, found some dolphins and it was magic. So we're on Max's boat. Uh, I was gonna put the ski in the water and then called him and I was like, hey, do you wanna go out for a little sunset cruise? And he's like, yeah. And so we were gonna do the boat and the ski and I was like, well, if we both do the boat, then that means that I can drink beer and I can also bring diesel. And that sounds like a lot more fun. So uh, one of the great things about these Sea-Doo dry bags is that they also make amazing beer coolers. So you can park your beers in here, nice and cool. One for you, sir. Yeah. You'll drink that later, won't you? Yeah, later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Water. L later on, yeah. And I will drink this now. Cheers, guys. Happy day before Thanksgiving. I'm thankful for this cold beer, my dog, and my friend Max. And also the ocean as well. Oh, who's that? Who's that? Guys, I've got someone to introduce you to. Sorry to, to wake you up. This is, uh, this is Diesel. It has been so flat the last few days. Like every time I've driven by down PCH, I've just been like, oh my God. Oh yeah. So one of the things that I want to do is a sunset run to Catalina and then stay overnight. So leave at four, be there by five, sunset, get a bit of that afterglow. That'd be so much fun. Okay, we're doing it. Uh, that's it. I'm putting it out there. We're going to do that at some point in the very, very near future. Is there a better way to watch a sunset? Let me know in the comments below, because right now, I don't think there is. Wait, I'm lying, I could be getting a right now. Not from Max though. I always find it amazing how quickly the sun sets once it does set, like watching just half the sun and then a quarter, and now we're onto like the very, very last little bit. And then ready, and gone. What color are they? Purple, blue, like a little hint of green, yellow, orange, red. Oh, look how good Max is at his colors. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody do like the clapping emoji in the comments for Max's colors. Look at that, he named all of them. Every single one over there, look. We were just about to head back in. And then we saw dolphins. Are you kidding me though? Look at this. I want to film it this time all the time. There you go, right there. Here they are. Tiny ones. Look, it's dolphins. Whoa. This has got to be the most aggressive filming I've ever done. Like, <laughs> double, double camera'd up. <laughs> I, got, I got the zoom. So I've been putting in more phone footage because I like the zoom that you get on the phone, but I also like the portability. So I'm going to upgrade to the new iPhone so that I can do a bit more zoom stuff. These GoPros are great for action cams, but they suck when you want to try and show something further away. So uh, yeah, definitely be upgrading, I think. Look at that. Sorry. Yeah, you're... Oh, I just got downwind of the... Yeah. Woo! Yeah, a dolphins. That is pungent. A dolphins blowhole stinks, and so do seals. Whew, they're cute, but woof. 
So Thanksgiving itself was spent eating, drinking, and being merry, and then the next day, England played USA in the Football World Cup. So I went back to boat friend Max's house, took Diesel with me, and even though England did a terrible job, and we only managed to get away with a nil-nil draw, Diesel got to hang out with his girlfriend, who is Max's dog, and they got to run around and play in the pool. So at least he left happy. And that brings us to today, where I spent my morning finishing off this contraption thing that I've been building, and then I spent my afternoon testing out on the ocean to see if it would actually work. And I'm gonna roll on those clips, but I think it's gonna be really cool for the channel. So this morning we're on a mission with this. This big, shiny, rocket-looking thing. Uh, I'll tell you more about it in a minute, but first, we need to get some breakfast, because I'm starving. So, three, two, one. Burrito time. This video is not sponsored by Chronic Tacos. I wish it was. Wee Man, if you are watching, so Wee Man is the guy that owns Chronic Tacos. If you are watching, I would love to be sponsored by you guys because I spend way too much money on burritos during a week because they're just so good. Look at the size of them. All right, cool. So I'm going to go and eat this and then we've got to go get some hardware for the, I still don't know what to call this thing. Well, I know what I want to call it, but I'm not sure that that's going to be uh, YouTube friendly. Um, but yeah, the Chrome pleasure rocket. Um, we've got to go and get some more hardware for it uh, because we have to find a way to attach this to it and also attach this little weight. So some of you might know what this is for, some of you might not. Just join us for the ride and enjoy the suspense because then later on we are going to hopefully be testing it out. So, Adam, what on God's green earth is that chrome pleasure missile? Well, this is going to be, hopefully, a way for me to capture some cool footage of uh, basically anything that's in the water that's chasing behind the sea -Doo. So the idea is, is that this gets dragged behind the ski, which is why I just have to go and buy this. So this goes on here like this, and then there's a rope that goes to the back of my sea -Doo, and then this thing gets pulled through the water. There's a weight underneath here, which is basically gonna kind of keep it the right way up. And then the camera goes in there looking back. And so what I'm hoping is that if I find a pod of dolphins, for example, I can throw this in the water, drag it behind, because it's all chrome and shiny, they'll be like, ooh, what's that? And they might come up and have a look at it. That's my plan. It might also be a horrible failure, but that is what we're gonna find out today. We are gonna go and finish building it, and then we're gonna go take it out and drag it through the water, and there might not be anything out there, but I just wanna see if the proof of concept works. So we're all finished and uh, this is what it looks like. So we've got the GoPro mounted in there and then we put this little weight on. Now all the ones that I've seen were much smaller than this. They were literally this long. I don't know why I made it so big. I just, yeah, I don't know, but I did. So we'll see. Maybe it'll be more stable, maybe it won't. Um, but I've just got it set up on this little swivel and then I've just looped it through this line, which is like a hundred feet. So there's plenty so we can uh, play around with what works out the best lengthwise. Uh, yeah, so we're just going to get this GoPro mounted up now and uh, see how she does. Well, it's definitely a little more splashy than I expected it to be. It looks like we've basically got a south swell, which means that the waves come directly into the harbour entrance. So I am just getting pumped. They're not big, but every time I go over them, look, it's like down, splash, and splash. So uh, yeah, my foot wells are already full. I'm already wet. <laughs> we haven't even left the harbour entrance yet. Uh, once we get out in the ocean, it'll be better because I'll be able to change direction and won't be heading straight into them. But for now, yeah, this is uh, probably going to be a brief ride to test this thing out. We're actually going to go on a big send tomorrow, but that'll be for another episode. Oh my god, yeah, it's uh, it's pretty choppy. Oh, look at the baby one! 
Look at a baby one! There is a tiny baby one right here. Look how cute. Oh, he's, he's like suckling on his mum, but he's not getting milk. He's just getting her fat. Holy moly! <laughs> so, I didn't even check the conditions, so I was just like, I'm oh, just gonna go out, do a quick test, see if this thing actually works, and then we can use it for real another day. I didn't realize that it was gonna be windy and this kind of choppy. Uh, I think this is what they call sporty. If you watch last week's video where I tested out the anchor, that right there is where I anchored up, and it was like flat. Uh, but anyway, I'm gonna get it out now. Uh, <laughs> I'm the trolling camera, eel. And uh, we'll stick it on the back, and then we'll just kind of drag it through the water here, check the footage back on my phone, hopefully, uh, and see if it actually works. And then we'll decide on a plan after that. But that's what we're gonna do right now. There's no boats around, so uh, let's get it. Yeah, we are indeed recording. That's tight. So this is what it looks like. And then I'm just gonna put it in the water and hope that my various bits of rigging don't give way, otherwise I'm gonna lose GoPro. So because we all know my luck with losing things in the ocean, uh, I'm actually gonna double knot it. So I'm gonna put a knot right round the end, so literally the very end of the rope. So worst case scenario, it's gonna go like 120 feet behind. Uh, but then I'll also do one sort of at the length that I want it as well, which I think is about that much. And uh, yeah, hope for the best. Well, if this is the last time I saw you, it was a pleasure. Thank you for uh, coming with me on all these adventures. I probably should have used one of my old GoPros, but whatever. All right, what do I do? Just put it in the water or do I yeet it in? Uh, all right, yeet! This is gonna be magic. Okay, I can't wait to try and use this properly. Wow, that looks so good. <laughs> God, I did it. Just an idiot from England. Built himself a little underwater camera trolley riggy thing. That's so much fun. back to the last bit of footage i just threw it out and kind of let it hang just to see what it looked like kind of deep because i think this rope's probably 50 feet so this one looks like 50 feet down and you really can't see a lot it's kind of scary so one thing i do want to do is i want to put some type of a leash around the gopro to the inside uh just in case this bolt gives up because there's only one single failure point here and so if this gives up, the GoPro's gone. So I might just put like a little screw through here or something just to hold a leash so that if it was to fail, the GoPro wouldn't be fully lost as long as this stays on, which it will, because it's bolted in. Oh, that's magic. Oh, this paint is crap that I've used. Literally awful. Not gonna lie, I think that's gonna work. I really do. Like I said, I'm gonna put in a, an extra fail safe. I have got to send tomorrow. I'm going out to Catalina, but I'm going to go do some diving and stuff. Um, so hopefully we get an opportunity to use it there. And yeah, I just think that'd be a really cool new toy to add to the collection uh, to be able to get some cool shots. Because obviously when I'm with the dolphins and the whales and that kind of thing, that view from under the water, imagine them like swimming with it. <gasps> That's cool. I'm excited. I can't wait to try that out for real. I'm actually gonna get an even longer rope. I thought this would be way long enough, but I reckon I could double the length of this and it'd still be good. And that way, hopefully it would get rid of some of those bubbles and I'd be able to go a little bit faster. But overall, big thumbs up. I think that is gonna be epic. So here we are, 9 p.m. on the night before this episode is due to go live and I haven't even edited it yet. But I am so thankful that all of the decisions that I've made in my life have led me to this moment right here because tomorrow 
I get to ride my sea doo to Catalina and go diving and I'm gonna go with an amazing group of people. And I'm so acutely aware right now of how important it is to surround yourself with good, genuine, honest people. And I'm also very aware of how you can make a decision that may seem very small right now and it has the potential to have massive positive impact on the rest of your life. So next time an opportunity arises that you know you should take but you're a little bit unsure or perhaps a little bit scared to, just do it. Life is too short to live with regrets of the things we didn't do. I would much rather learn from my mistakes than be disappointed with my lack of action. We're approaching 2023. It's a new year with new opportunities and you are going to have 365 days to make it the best one you've ever had. So be thankful for what you've got right now. Give the people around you some extra love and then get excited for what you can achieve by this time next year. So to wrap this thing up, I just want to say how thankful I am to each and every one of you for supporting this channel, for watching my videos. And I want to be able to add value to you, not just in showing you me gallivanting around and doing fun things, but also to prove that if you have a goal, if you have a dream, if you have an ambition, the only thing getting in the way is you. One foot in front of the other, believe in yourself, surround yourself with other people that believe in you, or cut those out that don't, and I promise you, you will make it. If I can do it, you can do it. So that's gonna wrap this up. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you aren't subscribed, please subscribe, because I'd love to see you here again. Hit that thumbs up button, that really helps with the whole YouTube algorithm thing, and most importantly, remember, until next time, don't do anything I wouldn't do. See ya.